Hi guys, today we will create a uh, stopwatch using the PLC and HMI. For that, first I will add one uh, PLC. I will using controller uh, S1500 because I am using PLC advance. So I will choose one of the basic controller and I add it now. So depend upon system time, it will take uh, some delays and all file for loading. And after that, I will add one uh, HMI. And HMI, I will using a basic uh, HMI. I am using 7 HMI KTV 700, which is having Profinet connectivity. And I am adding now the HMI also. The next, I will link the uh, PLC and HMI. Now I link it now. Next, we will start making the logic. Before that, first uh, as a startup, in this, uh, as uh, during initial setup, we will configure the system and clock memory bit. For that, we will see uh, here. We can see here the system and clock memory bits here, and we will enable those two. This will be useful for our uh, logic creation. And next, uh, okay. For, before that, I will show you how, what are the parameters, what will display, how it will look like, and all. So first of all, I will uh, add three in IM inputs. This is for uh, representing our minute and second. And I will make here some text here. It will be seconds. And it will be minute. And this will be our this uh, next we have the start button and stop button this will be the start and next i'll create one stop button so now we have make this uh, it, uh we have a stopwatch having this to show the second minute and hours and uh, they have button to start and stop then next we'll move to the program how to make the logic for that we'll create a small logic so we'll be creating no functions and all we will be making the logic in the main logic then first of all we'll uh, we'll add a, a data block for making the variables and all so i'll mention as var so i have i created one variable data block with a variable as name and i will have a start button a stop button and i will have started then i will have a second minutes and hour and i will have this seconds this uh, seconds i will be in uh, shortened it will be of shortened will be a short in okay so first we will make this start button here this will be this our start button and we'll be using uh, we'll be setting that bit here oh we already created that bit We'll make it as a set bit and we will make one branch here and this will be the stop. If you press stop, you should it have to be reset at this one. So I will make copy here and it will be reset. So once we press start, it will be uh, it will be this bit will be selected from the HMI. This will be from the HMI from start, and this will be the stop from the HMI. 
and now next once it is started we have to make the logic now consider this is a started bit here load started if it is started this uh, this the logic is based on it's one second once it reaches 60 counts it will be added to the minutes and it, once it reaches 60 minutes um, will it will be added to the hour like that is we are using the counter here for that first we will be using one clock bit here We'll be using one uh, clock bit of one hertz. I added one clock bit now. And next, if it is started and if the clock bit is high, we will making one counter here. We'll be putting counter CTU counter, and it will be asking to create data block because it's a function. So I will put seconds. Okay, then I will make function like. Uh, here I will add a second down bit. Okay, I will add this second down bit here. Now, here we will set 60 here. Oh, sorry, this will be bool. Okay, now this when we have to reset is based on once it reaches 60. This will be high and at that time it should have to raise it here. So I will add one bit here and okay. Now the second part is finished. Now the next is this. Uh, we will add one counter here. Then we will be adding one uh, counter here. CTU and it will be for hour, hour it's for minute and we will be here also we will add uh, we will add one bit here and it will be minutes done bit and we will connect it here And here it will be based on uh, this will be variable started bit and here it will be based on second done bit and here this we will done copy here and here also it will be 60 here and here it will be minutes so we should have to move this value to our uh, our uh, our seconds and all. So I will link this to seconds. Uh, okay, because it's it will support only uh, integer variables. So we can make here as int int. okay so next is actually next we have to make one more rung for our so we will add the same here and uh, we will be using CTU here and it will be for our and we will be adding one output here that's for uh, this for our done So I will link it here. Here we will add one counter. Okay, one input, and it will be based reason based on this. And here will be 60, and here it will be variable started. This will be this will be seconds done. Uh, it will be minutes done because it's uh, we are uh, configuring on our. Now that's finished now okay so this is our part then what what happened to be done while we press stop button if we press stop it should have to reset the all the timer so we have to add one more parallel rank here and we have to add this add here and it will be the a bit here and 
food should be this bit. Should be variable means done. Okay, we will have done. Okay, okay, we, we have to add one more parallel line rank to to reset this bit. Stop bit. Okay, okay. And here we have our seconds. We'll add here minutes. And here we'll add the hour. So our logic part is finished. So we will just compile. We first save the project. It will compile now. Oops, 21 errors. Okay, this is because we have opened this uh, this one. That's the reason why it not compiled. So I will save now, and I will just again I will click here and I will compile. Now that's done. Now next we will have to link to our HMI. We have already have screen design. So for that we'll open our variable db here i will make us floating okay this uh will go to properties and here it will be our bit okay and here it will be minutes okay and here it will be seconds okay you can reduce these numbers here if you need you can add it will be 99 okay this will be 1699 okay this will be 19 all right then next is uh, we need to link the start bit so we'll press here set bit and this bit should be start when release it should be reset bit and here it should be press set bit this will be the stop and here it is release it should be reset bit here and this will be stop so this part is finished we will compile now Alright, it's finished. So next is we will start the simulation. I'm, I'll be using PLC Sim Advance. So my PLC Sim is running now. I created one instance and the Sim is running now. PLC is running. So I will just download this. So okay, next I will start this search. So this is a test device that's why i have not created a change the ip address and all for for a testing purpose only okay okay this is because we have not enabled this one protection we have to enable this that's why we will get the error if you are using simulation okay now not and you may torsion okay you will start module finish 
Okay. Now we will start simulation of HMI. Alright, fine, all good. So next is like main program. We will start monitoring this. Okay. We will start now. See it got started counting now. Once it reaches 60, it will be counting on minutes. So you can see here this. It's an up counter we are using here. Once it reaches 60, this bit will be high and it will reset here and it will again continue from 1. So once this bit high, we'll make this to count 1. Like that we have made the logic. It's almost 30 seconds. Now when the 60 minutes is over, it will be count as 1 hour. That's why we are using 60 minutes done. It will be counting here. Now it's 58. See, now it's counted to 1. You can see here so our logic is working fine so we will test the stop bit once you press stop it should have to get reset now it's get stop it all got reset because we are using the reset command here to get reset on this one also that's why the CV got zero So if I start again, so it started counting again. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.